Dear sisters, today we have a very small gospel passage from Matthew chapter 11, 25 to 27. In these three verses, 25, 26, 27, we see this word Father almost five times. I thank you, Father. Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows son except the father and no one knows the father except the son within this small three verses five times we hear this word father god is our father we should not be afraid or fearful to approach god because god is our own father and he knows us as we heard from the responsorial psalm lord will not abandon his people not forsake those who are in his heritage in our earthly life bible says in hebrews fathers sometimes has taken the role of a strict person in the old testament we see god as like a, god as a judge who punishes when somebody does wrong and that's how uh, the salvation story uh, depicts god as very strict but jesus says god is compassion of course last week we heard readings from hosea where god is pictured as a mother also even in isaiah god is pictured as the image of a mother can a mother forget children like that god always cares but the important fact which god reveals us to these readings today is we should have the attitude of being a childlike. When we approach to God like children, we can understand His will in our lives. Jesus says, You have hidden the things from the wise and understanding, but revealed them to little children. Unless you become like child, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus says, In uh, my life, I love my father. Most of you also love your fathers. Maybe sometimes, maybe uh, situations, very few might not have such good experience with their own father because of different situations. Maybe they are very afraid of father. I had a very pleasant, very happy relationship with my father till I expressed my desire to become priest. But after expressing my desire, naturally it, it broke. And it was such a bitter uh, time, almost 9 to 10 years, from 2004 to until he passed away 15, maybe 11 years, I had a very difficult experience. But I experienced that father love in different way because God is our father. And God says that I am your father, but we should also experience that, right? That tangibly we should experience. So I experienced through many ways and especially through Archbishop Abraham Virtukulandra, whose Episcopal ordination anniversary, 45th anniversary. I never said anything to Archbishop as a seminarian or as a priest also, specifically about my struggles or anything, but somehow certain things he may be God because it's, it's, it's God himself who acts in our lives maybe through different people so one incident I want to say is like I'm from Vijayawada so once when I was doing Regency Archbishop uh, was coming to Vijayawada then he asked me okay your home is in Vijayawada I said, yes then he said okay I will go your home I was a little <laughs> I was little I don't know how to react because it is in 2013 February and uh, Prakash Malavarupu has become Archbishop and he moved to Vizag and in Vijayawada we don't have a bishop also and during that time this Archbishop wanted to visit a house of a seminarian so then more than that I am afraid like how my father will react because my father is not speaking to me right so so naturally he goes if he says something so I am very much afraid of my father but I said to Bishop like this Bishop your grace like uh, my I am very poor we are very poor I said because to to discourage him to go to my home. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this Archbishop Abraham said like one person can go enter inside the house, right? <laughs> so yeah, how much poor you are? Like one person at least can enter into your home. I said yes. Ah, then I will go. So then I cannot stop him. So he went and uh, by God's grace. When Bishop went, my father received him happily and they spoke 
and uh, my father stopped coming to church after i expressed my desire to uh, become priest so almost uh, uh, around 9 years so he was not coming to church so but uh, this archbishop park his vehicle in the church compound so so when he came to visit home you it is a courtesy to go and leave him right so my father goes along with him uh, to the church then archbishop uh, puts a shawl on him and give him i don't know what he said but uh, maybe i imagine i imagine like uh, i imagine like he gave a jesus picture and all like that and he gave a shawl and i believe that uh, uh, this archbishop said like i am taking your son to the church so don't worry leave it to me enough you raised you give it to him so i feel like archbishop adopted me as his son for the church to be at the service of the church so i i have gratitude to him and especially on this special day 13th july i always and i thank god god gives me opportunities though i travel different places and most of the times i am not in the parish and but still god gives me opportunity where i can share whatever i experience and especially all the occasions is that and was your birth and was the ordination something somehow wherever important events in my life god gives me opportunity and i am happy to share this as a testimony one thing is like god loves us so that's what i want and god is our father he knows our needs our difficulties our problems whatever we go through we don't need to say because god is our father and he he provides everything in different ways but we should have that child like trust in him and we should approach to god as children then only we can understand the god's plan